39 year female with history of cough and shortness of breath ct thorax revealed mediastinal lymphadenopathy with lung infiltrate suspecting uh, granulomatous uh, etiology either it could be sarcoidosis or tuberculosis uh, this patient also had been subjected for uh, uh, ebus tbna uh, of mediastinal lymph node and also she had been subjected for endobronchial biopsy this is uh, the aspiration smear if you see the aspiration smear so the lot of hemorrhage in the background with uh, uh, cellular elements which are seen throughout the smear so that means to say that there are some uh, uh, tissue fragments have come in the aspirate which has to be analyzed so this is under scanner view let us move on to the higher resolution if you go to the higher re resolution see here we are seeing Uh, small lymphocytes which are in sheets against a hemorrhagic background they absolutely look normal so this is one more focus which shows plenty of lymphocytes which are seen in the background and a macrophage or a histiocyte which is seen amidst the lymphocytes so let us so uh, this is one more focus which shows plenty of histiocytes with few lymphocytes so these are histiocytes and these are lymphocytes now moving on to the any pathological areas so this is an area which is of interest which shows aggregates of histiocytes with occasional cells have epithelial morphology so to confirm whether it is a, a definite granuloma or just a aggregate of histiocytes let us move on to other areas this is one more focus see here there is collection of epithelial histiocytes so this we can definitely say it is a granuloma and it is bordered by few lymphocytes so let us move on to one more area this is one more uh, area which is uh, cellular which shows a well formed granuloma majority of the granuloma does not revealing any necrosis very few lymphocytes are bordering this granuloma so this is uh, uh, at 40x you can see these are the light stain nucleus with a figure of 8 these are the epithelial histiocytic aggregation uh, confirming the diagnosis of granulomatous lesion so this is a bigger uh, chunk of tissue again it shows plenty of epithelial histiocytes with areas of sclerosis along with entangled anthracotic pigment so the if uh, if we screen this is one more area which shows a good collection of epithelial histiocytes confirming the diagnosis of granulomas so when we have uh, seen the entire smear there is no necrosis or uh, there are no longans type of giant cell so this uh, favors the diagnosis of non necrotizing granulomatous lymphadenitis let us move on to uh, the uh, biopsy core bi biopsy from the lymph node so here uh, the uh, the tissue if you go to the scanner view see the very good amount of uh, lymph nodal tissue has come in the biopsy so let us move on to higher resolution so this is again contains a fibrin clot let us leave that then we'll come to the cellular areas these are the cellular areas from the lymph node which shows if we go to the 40x you are seeing plenty of small lymphocytes which are entangled in the fibrin clot a macrophage a plasma cell so here one more plasma cell here which has a perinuclear half and there are good amount of small lymphocytes so this is a native from the lymph node let us see this is definitely not normal though it belongs to the lymph node so this focus it shows the collagen deposition these are the areas of hyalinization so there are hyalinized the lymph node also shows hyalinization or dense sclerosis this the entire chunk shows the sclerosis which is bordered by lymphocytes so then moving on to one more focus again shows dense sclerosis in the lymph node so let us move on to the area of interest so this is again an area of dense sclerosis just adjacent to the sclerosis you are seeing a granuloma this granuloma shows epithelial cell aggregation and no necrosis and they are not bordered by lymphocyte this is one discrete granuloma which is seen adjacent to sclerotic area 
let us move on to one more focus this is again a very large granuloma so if we go to the hyperbar view see here plenty of epithelial histiocytes they are seen in aggregate with very sparse lymphocytes in the background so this is one more uh, area which shows granulomas so to sum up uh, this entire uh, core biopsy shows the lymphoid tissue which showing the features of sclerosis and plenty of non necrotizing granulomas now let us move on to the endobronchial biopsy this includes this biopsy this patient had been uh, subjected at both endobronchial and transbronchial biopsy so let us see what are the changes we are seeing in the endobronchial biopsy before going to that see this is uh, the scanner view which shows good amount of tissue which is included in the biopsy so let us move on to the bronchial endobronchial fragments so this entire thing so this entire thing is a bronchial wall so the bronchial wall appears thickened let us go to the higher resolution so this is the bronchial mucosa this mucosa is lined by benign respiratory epithelium this is the entire bronchial mucosa is intact but the pathology lies in the subepithelial connective tissue where the entire stroma is thickened and this stroma shows there are good amount of discrete granulomas so there are about 1 2 and 3 granulomas are seen in this figure these granulomas if we go to 40x they are showing epithelites and histiocyte aggregation but these granulomas are not covered by lymphocytes which are called as non necrotizing naked granulomas this is within the bronchial wall let us move on to one more focus again this is a bronchial wall you have a cartilage here the bronchial wall again shows a non necrotizing granuloma there are two granulomas which are seen in this focus and here these gran there are three granulomas in this focus to remember the entire granulomas are not showing any necrosis and they are not bordered by lymphocytes so this is one more area in the bronchial wall you have a respiratory epithelium normal respiratory epithelium and a granuloma in the subepithelial stroma these granulomas if you go to the hyperbar view there are epithelial cells and you have showman bodies this is a giant cell with a uh, calcospherule within it which is called as showman body so now these are the changes in the bronchial wall let us move on to the transbronchial biopsy to look for the respiratory uh, parenchyma the lung parenchyma here it appears absolutely normal so majority are well aerated and here and there they show alveolar macrophages in the lumen whereas the interstitium again is delicate did not reveal any inflammatory cells or neither thickening of the interstitial connective tissue now the pathology is seen in the interlobular septa which is showing thickened there is dense sclerosis of the interlobular septum and the wall is showing three granulomas there are three granulomas which are seen along the interlobular septum and one granuloma which is seen in the adjacent alveolar space and here one more granuloma which is seen within the interstitial connective tissue to sum up the uh, entire uh, slide reveals plenty of non necrotizing naked granulomas with some of them are showing the showman bodies which are seen within the endobronchial wall as well as in the lung parenchyma uh, confirming the diagnosis of sarcoidosis so this patient um, uh, the let us move on to the microbiological uh, investigation so the patient uh, did not uh, the gene expert was negative and the serum ace level was elevated confirming the diagnosis of sarcoidosis